All right, guys. Welcome back. This is part 18 now. Playing as a uh, our <laughs> fat grand. I'm pretty sure he's a lunatic, scarred, honest. He's an interesting character, to say the least. Amazing marshal, though. He is an amazing commander. And the first thing we're going to do is we could do that. Let's do it. What do I get from this? Holy War for there. And I can de jure claim that later. Unless I can... Yeah, let's just do that. Bloop. 1300. Against 4,000. Alright. Let's duel. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. That's the first army. 3,000. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Okay. You guys come here. You guys go home. You go home. I would have told you to go home, but you're dead. Your vassal is concerned about non-inheriting sons. He asks you to consider them when looking. I can't give out land to anyone you ask. There a peasant war? Is that what just popped up? No? Okay. And let's go kill him. Defeat. Twenty-seven, forty. I've had a good life. Let's see. Chase down their commander for a personal duel. Well, guess it's a duel that never came. Oh well. Let's chase down his army and kill him a bunch while we some more piety always good always good that means I can execute more people I want to capture some people so I can execute them because while you're at war with them you can do it without your council being mad at you and I do like getting my body count up which could mean two things it just depends how you look at it Really nice bullying uh these Irish people. He's still not ready to give up though, he's been at ninety-eight percent. There he goes. You uh held out for a while, but in the end, doesn't even matter. In my court You're a bishop. You now have two bishoprics. I hope you are happy. So I didn't have to do that. But I did it because I love you. And I care for you. And because I don't want to have it myself. Hello, sir. You have been granted the county... Of Angley. What?
of the county of Angsley. No, just try. Take it. Okay, cool. And now, with my little bit of money I have left over, Lancaster. Not now, Lancaster. Get my money back up. Oh, it is back up. It was at 13, but I think it was because I have everything closed down. Yeah, it's back up to 15. So that's good. I'm 54 years old. I'm fat. I, I'm a lunatic. Like, this guy has no right to be this old. <laughs> but... You know, I'm not disappointed he is. Earl has decided to raise army. Ooh. Another rebellion. Oh, Jesus. Cleft lip. Is that one of yours? You're malnourished. Hair lip. Yep. <laughs> At least she's not Habsburg. Okay. Would you like to join the kingdom? No? Can I declare war on you? I can, but none of these people are part of my dynasty, so... I don't want to give him that. What about you? That'd be nice to start breaking you up. You have lots of claims. But the claim system, I don't like it. This guy still owns, like, a lot of Ireland. Not owns them, but, like, extorts tribute from them. Kind of sucks. Anyway. I do have a CB against him. Let's use my vassal men. So my men can, uh, get back to combat strength. Defeated. How sad. What is that? Camp fever. God damn it. I just reopened the gates. Shut the gates. It's okay, men. You are fighting where the infection cannot reach you. It is safe. Kind of. Little, a little bit. Stop, guys. Come on. There's no need for that. What's the garrison like here? 1,300. That's why. Not enough men. What about here? Barely anything. I think that's mine, actually. It would be these. 800. 200. Okay. I'll switch out my armies then. Send you there. And send you there. Who are you? Oh, we're friends. 
Hello, best friend. You're pretty good. I might, I might uh, want to sleep with you later. Castle town built in Lancaster. Stables next. Send these guys to fight this army and unsiege it down. Are you ready to surrender? Yeah, cool. We have won the day, men. And put down my vassal's men. And go to my court. No? Okay. Guess I'll. Um, the Pope is wise. Uh, sucks. A little bit of money. My son. Welcome out of prison. You're pretty messed up. So. How much do you love your daddy? You hate me. That's f fair. I like him though. That's why I let him go. He's not a bad kid. Can't plot to kill my children. Hmm. Guess I just won't go to war for a while and um get my number of troops up. How many do I have total? Nine thousand. Um I need to find someone. You. Hamond. Ha. Uh. Oh. Thamond. Take it. Cool. Let's go down a little bit. So. Letting my son out, not gonna lie, bit of a misstep. The factions are pretty rampant right now, and when I die, they're gonna get even worse, most likely. My celibate. <laughs> well, no more babies for me. Into my attention has bribed and threatened his way into my domain. That bastard. How's the war going? It's going good. Your steward wants to talk about the old tunnels under the castle. The argument is that they should have be maintained better now that times are rough. You'll never know when you'll have to get out quickly. Sure. My liege catches up to you while you're strolling down my hill. She looks concerned and you order her to spit out. The tunnels, my lord, she breathes and continues to tell you that it seems somebody has been using them. Guards have stumbled upon tools and torches recently used by the looks of it.
It's a great opportunity for an ambush. Your guards have captured someone in the tunnels. However, the person does not seem to be completely stable. Your guards' faces are not showing their usual bloodthirst when they're in the presence of... What? Your guards' faces are not showing their usual bloodthirst when they present Balthid the Silent, a starving-looking, oddly-jumping person. See what she has to say. You approach the locked door warily. Inside, Balthid, Balthalid, is talking to herself quietly. The guards tell you that she claims to have been... She claims to have a lover at court. While well, they are on their way back to the castle when her beloved fell ill, devastated from the loss, she remained in the tunnels. She does not seem all that well. She's pretty shitty in every way. She's stressed, deceitful... Gregorious, charitable, arbitrary. She's a game master, though. Her stats do not relate that. <laughs> Poor thing, let her join my court. <laughs> you wake in the middle of the night to find a lion clambering down the court. Outside your room is the shadows of pitchforks painted on the walls near your screaming. You close the door behind you. How did the peasants get in? The, tun the tunnels should be secured. My Countess Fifione had them inspected. To arms, my guards! The peasant rebels screamed the name of their leader. Balfour the Silent. You furiously charged them, hacking them down one by one. They had made it into the castle, but this was where you drew the line. Together with your well-trained guards, the rebels had little chance of succeeding in the wake of your victory. You contemplate on the harshness of it all. This doesn't feel right. Apparent, I apparently visited a local tavern yesterday, which would have explained the hangover. This won't be popular. <sighs> my cousin needs to, like, kill my wife already. How much are you worth? 145 gold. She likes me now. She's incapable, though. <laughs> she's actually, she has cancer. She's stressed. Yeah, she's going to die. I'm glad I got it for it. Oh, wait. Why open the fucking... I just wasn't paying attention. Factions. It's dropping. Yeah, 67 now. That was a brief stint of rebellion. It wasn't even rebellion. It was just him going herp de -der, I'm independent. And then seconds later. Okay. That was strange. Hello, sir. Would you like to join the ranks? I wish there was a threaten button. Because... If there was a threaten button... I could easily, easily crush these guys. Like, no trouble. Just take a quarter of my army sent in there. And they would be dead. But they're like, no, you're not that powerful. Mm. Guys, come on. 
That's that's insulting. Oh, France is back. Uh, that guy I was friends with is long gone, probably. Several rumors have been circling. With lots of effort, I'd finally managed to track them back to Duchess. My friend. That filthy fiend. What is she trying to do? She's trying to kill me. That's kind of weird. Hmm. I don't know what she's trying to do. Apparently she's a filthy fiend, though. My close, close friend. I'm holding too many duchies. I'll start giving them out once, not, once I'm an empire, but... I don't think that's a smart move to me for me to do now. I'm excommunicated. You fucking... Why? You love me. I gave you your kingdom. I remember that. I gave you your county. What? There's no... <laughs> Why would you do that? Now I'm just gonna kill you. Att attempt to kill you. We are of the opinion that your previous and selfish thirst for powers have led you into the path of wickedness. Such we demand that in exchange for your absolution you show humility by... No. <laughs> I would rather be excommunicated. Well, I guess on that strange note, I'm going to end this video for today. If you uh, enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like. We have actually expanded quite a bit in this episode. Took a couple states over here. Took one over here. I think that's about it, but I mean, that's two, three counties we took. And once we can get this kingdom under our belt, because this is the second kingdom title I'm going to get, because you need two to form the empire. We'll get de jure claims on all this. We can mothball and get all of that. And once we have all of that, pretty sure. How much we need? We need to control 80. And we have 65. There's 85 titles, so. Um, let's just say, like, we need, like, 75. In total. So we need like nine more counties. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven left here. Plus we can take some stuff from Italia and then this guy just sitting here acting like he's independent. Maybe give you some money. No. Want some more money? Nope. Won't do anything. Okay. Yeah, I'm ending it here. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment on what you think I should do next or whatever. Any uh, changes I should make, but yeah, see you in the next one.